Proprietor of the Carnival Casino located on Church Street, Georgetown, Clifton Bacchus, on Friday expressed his frustration that his business after two years cannot begin operation. Following a meeting with officials of the Private Sector Commission, PSC, on Friday, he noted that the last document requested by the Grameen Authority was renewed financial statement. This, he said, was submitted approximately one month ago. I'm frustrated that it's after two years we're not, we not moving forward. Why, even though the machines are in place, everything is in place, two years pass and um, nothing, nothing is happening with the, with the license. And I'm, I'm very frustrated. Bacchus invited the PSC members to his facility to have a look at the establishment. Chairman of the PSC, Eddie Boyer, told reporters that the establishment will employ a number of Guyanese, adding that employment is one of the major focuses of the private sector. We are speaking about local content. This is local content. Let me get it rolling, right? We need to make sure that all these things are working, that, that this band's investment is, is paying back and, and things are happening. Can't see investment die like this. This view is also shared by Trade and Investment Chair of the PSC, Deodat Indar, who noted that the prospering of such investments also encourage other investors to contribute to the economy. We are going to tell investors to come invest in Guyana. We must lead by example. I also understand that there is an MOU between this business, Sleeping Hotel and Casino Incorporated, and the government. And we always speak about the sanctity of contracts and agreement. And we expect that that is, um, you know, adhered to and respected. Completed in 2016, the hospitality and gaming facility, Carnival Casino, cost some 20 million U.S. dollars. The applications for a casino license was denied by the gaming authority because Bacchus failed to provide proof of its financial soundness and capability, which was critical for approval. The proprietor has since been putting together additional paperwork requested. Bacchus had said he submitted documents to the gaming authority that established the source of his financing, including loans from local commercial banks secured by mortgages, along with monies from an overseas investor. Bacchus, who has been in the local hotel industry for over 15 years, has already employed and trained some 300 Guyanese to staff the new branch. But since its opening is in limbo, those persons were forced to seek alternative employment. Bibi Katun, Newsroom.